My name is Nate. I'm the education director at the Columbia River Maritime Museum. These seventh graders at Warrington Middle School have been learning all about this tropical fish. Raise your hand if you know what kind of fish this is. An opa. Very, very good. Opa are normally found deep in the waters like off the coast of Hawaii and possess a rare quality. What can it do that no other fish in the world can do? It is one of the only fish that can regulate its own body temperature. Absolutely. 110 and a half. And after a few measurements, you're going to cut from here. It was time for the dissection. And then you're going to take a cut down here. Yeah. Well, the main thing we want to look at is the gills of this fish. In July, the three and a half foot long, 100 pound fish was found on the shores of Sunset Beach, just south of Warrington. And as to why it washed ashore, well, that's anyone's guess. What some of the theories are of what brought this fish up here when it's typically not is it was following the warm water currents heading north, uh, probably you know, following food sources and probably got either trapped in and might have gotten hypothermia, might have died of old age. It is a fully grown fish. For these kids, the rare discovery led to a rare opportunity. This is right at those pectoral fins full of all those blood vessels that warm up their blood. This is a, an experience you get every day, so you gotta have fun with it. We're gonna peel this all the way back. Fun, which also meant getting their hands dirty. All right, I'm gonna cut the intestine open. And then anybody who wants to come in and put their finger in it? Yes, I would, I would. Nate Sandal had hoped to cut open the stomach to see what the opa last ate. Its main food source is squid. Instead, the overall size of the fish got the better of the time they had together. It took us like the entire hour just to get it filleted out so we could see that but we couldn't actually peel it back because these, these bones are like this thick. In Warrington, Devin Haskins, KGW News. It's, it's, like, it's weirdly satisfying. Yeah,